The views and opinions during this podcast do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the sponsors or executive producers. This program contains conversation, discussion, debate, which a truly free society would neither fear nor suppress. However, in some socially inept areas, certain religious fanatics and ultra-sensitive and extreme political affiliates violate your First Amendment rights by attempting to control what you watch, listen to, write, and speak. We feel that this is unconstitutional and un-American. And now we present the MK Ultrasound Podcast. Live from Studio Diablo in Chicago, Illinois, this is MK Ultrasound. Get with the countdown. I speak jive. Forget it, man. Blast off for Kicksville. Shake this square world. Blast off for Kicksville. I speak jive. Forget it, man. Get with the countdown. Forget it, man. Blast off for Kicksville. Shake this square world. Blast off for Kicksville. I speak jive. Forget it, man. We're alive. Can we? We're fucking alive. We In are the, still alive. The, the apocalypse. Yeah, we are. Hey, so. uh, Yvette Lira is with us. My new co-host. Is Hi. Hello. Uh, so great to meet you. You and this, too. And, and you Thank both you. have a lot in common as far as the music industry. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess what we have a surprise. Somebody's on the phone. Hello. Uh, Can you hear anything? No. Can you hear the caller? No. Oh, shit. You can't hear anything? <laughs> I don't even hear uh, you. I only hear you through whatever you is caller? going on. It's Peter. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, I can't hey, hear hey, you. Can you give her those headphones? We're going to switch out headphones. We're having technical difficulties here. Yes, yes, yes. And now I'm excited. Holy shit. What a surprise, right? Peter. Yes, thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you get her face? <laughs> hey, plug her into one of these. <laughs> Uh, no. Foster, Foster, She's on Foster. two. She's on two. two? Okay. Um, it felt did you weird. get so, the so, freaking... Oh, shit. Dude. I hear only uh, one... Uh, yeah, the one... Because people hang them on the microphones. You can't do that. So is it, oh, you have one ear, though. It's Peter, fine. Um, thanks for... Hello, hello. <laughs> we have Cześć, two... Uh, yes. przez sympatyczna z miasta Łodzi tutaj mówi Piotrek z Bału. Cześć, Piotrek, kurwa, ale zajebiście, że mogę cię usłyszeć. <laughs> jeszcze po polsku będziemy gadać. <laughs> Kurwiemy, Alexa. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you think do you think we should switch to English so those yeah. freaking Americans can understand what we're right. saying? Yeah, I know, you fucker, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Pete. <laughs> That's so cool. You know, um, degenerate. <laughs> An- An- Anya and I were talking about how much we have in common with like bands like Mortis, but also you, and um, and now Mace has a new product, and I can't wait to play it. And we're gonna play the video. The- his new video. The new yes, 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 yes. I right. saw that Isn't video. It great? I saw it uh, as unlisted. It's, it's amazing. It's fantastic, it's awesome. man. Yeah. Well, Pete, is... when Peter moved here from Poland, he went to the Art Institute in Pittsburgh, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And um, I met you at one of your first shows. You played at Babylon where I DJed. That's oh, crazy. my God. Like it you're... was so long time ago. It was <laughs> like 1993 or four or five or something. It was 1993. Yeah. That's how long I've known this fucker. What wow. the fuck? <laughs> you were alive this long. That's like... Wow. Mine's... <laughs> You know, the Thank thing you. is, like, we could just spend a whole three days talking about my history with Pete because we've been many states, many cities, but we've been fucking good friends here. So, and you now told you told me this. <laughs> you told me this, and it's just so amazing because I met Pete totally differently. You know, it was through Gopal, right, Peter? Through Kelly and uh, Gopal, like through yeah, 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 yeah. And it was all online, and we just like click, boom. Which yep. we are from the same city. How is this even possible? You know, and we are both passionate yeah, about the it, same it, thing. Okay, so everybody With listening, the same level. Anya and Peter are from the same town in Poland. Yes, wow. the city of Łódź, which is really amazing. Hi Łódź, hi everybody from Łódź. Oh. It's a great underground. Widzew kurna, widzew Łódź. Widzew wow. kurwa, yeah, bacz. <laughs> Makes me want to speak Polish right now. <laughs> Here's my Duolingo right now. You know what, Peter? L-K-S. <laughs> Je, then, okay, don't play this. Don't play it's this. It's everybody, really every, Everybody's hearing it. So. Well, That's Alex, awesome. this are, these are our uh, soccer chants. That's all it is. <laughs> but it's really bad. So oh, wow. forgive me. It was a joke. So we're we're in a understand. we're in a weird we're in a weird time right now, man. Um, oh, yeah. No shit. Things right? are wow. things are Cheers fucking great. Yeah. Yeah. Let's drink some Corona. Corona. Hey, yeah. hey, we're drinking Corona. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, it's people are fucking bizarre, and it's sad. It's 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 sad. It's, 
Oh man, it's madness in Poland. I was just talking to a friend of mine from Poland, and they are freaking the fuck out, oh, man. Wow. Yeah. You you were telling me yesterday that with the toilet paper thing now, it reminded you of Poland in what year? Yeah, about 1987, where uh, you know you went to the store and there was nothing. <laughs> Those are the scary stories. Yep. Anya apocalypse. probably she, she doesn't remember that. She, but I know the sto- I, I know that. the stories, you know, and uh, you know I've been raised in that uh, vibe of you know coming out of mm-hmm. uh, this whole shit mm-hmm. that Poland was in at this mm-hmm. time, and uh, you know I mean, you know what what's and imagine there was nothing in the stores and we didn't have a virus. <laughs> oh. Hey, speaking of. Your new song is called Virus. Yeah. <laughs> indeed, Such a indeed. Good. <laughs> it's maybe, m- maybe it's your fucking fault, Pete. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, blame it. Blame it on the Pollock. <laughs> Always. Everything. <laughs> oh, dude, but seriously, you know, with this shit going uh, on, and- it's like you can't hack people. You mm. can't. I'm dead. I'm just disappointed because I, when I left work on Friday to actually see it, and and we have first of all, we have a fucking asshole for president and i i'm, I'm embarrassed Get by out. him i'm embarrassed by him but now i go to the store and i'm disappointed in the human race mm-hmm. because they're oh, really buying stupid shit you don't need toilet paper this is a respiratory thing i mean it's well, a shitty I, behavior. I hear i i hear they have a equivalent of trump in poland as well so <laughs> that's what i've heard also you know but the thing with the you know i actually went to store friday just to get stuff to cook dinner and I was amazed that I spent two and yeah. a half hours just getting my couple things. And what was surprising to me, there was more people in the store than products. Mm. And lines were outrageous. But yeah. mm-hmm. what really, like I started being aggravated and I started sure. feeling that anxiety, you know. But then what touched me was everyone was super nice. Really. Like if I get it, yes. we are probably yeah. shitty kind yeah. as humans in general. But I feel like in those times of darkness, we can pull together and like try to bring brightness into each other, which mm-hmm. is awesome. And I think we should always remember. Speaking of um, of a dark thing. Mm-hmm. Nah, before. it's going to be a total apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Fuck girl. you, Peter. <laughs> fuck you for br- breaking my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> you had to fuck it up, man. So uh, before we get into the music, I want to talk about we lost an uh, important person. This yeah. weekend, Genesis Pjorge, um, yeah. and we've lost him. And and my executive producer and I, we, we interviewed. Yes, uh, <laughs> Peter's always correct. Mm-hmm. Um, well, before he was a she, we hung out the House of Blues in 1998 when he was in Pig Face. She was in Pig Face, mm-hmm. and I remember because Mark, our, our executive producer, was with me, and he was drying his socks out on the light bulbs, and I was so mm-hmm. fascinated because he, I felt like that was, was it, as was close the scent to, of it. <laughs> I felt like I was as close to Andy Warhol as I was ever going to get That's with awesome. him. He was just an amazing person to talk in a perfect interview. He was an original. Oh, absolutely. Sure. And like, industrial music wouldn't be what it is without yeah. him. Yeah, I, I so totally agree. I wanted to throw that out there and, and mention that because um, there's enough negativity going on right now. We're going to talk about some good stuff. Yeah, We're going to talk about the new uh, Mace video, Peter. Um, mm-hmm. Why did you resurrect Mace now? Well, there was a uh, natural natural continuation of what I've been doing for the last two years. Um, I got to uh, uh, reactivate my old band from Poland, Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg yeah. and that was pretty successful. So I decided I will follow the uh, 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 the moment and uh, and do something with my uh, very first band from Pittsburgh, and uh, mm-hmm. that's what happened. <laughs> You know, I've seen Mace pretty much inertia. In, in, that's the word. That's the word for it. Inertia. I think I, I, I think I've seen Mace in every incarnation. Like every really? band member, like it was a revolving door of band members. But the only time I saw the same band was when we did some three shows together: Indianapolis, Cleveland, and in Columbus, Ohio. Whoa! But yeah. that every other time that and Pete would still come out and play by me in the Midwest. Different band members every time, and uh, yeah, and I'm still nobody. Nobody can deal with me, man. That's the... <laughs> hey, man. Well, Big Speak I, does, I, right? I know so that. I, I know the fucking feeling <laughs> the same way. <laughs> That's why I'm a one woman army. Okay. <laughs> well, you're a one woman army. I'm a fear. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I was in the uh, Electric Hellfire Club, they were calling me Peter the Polish Fear. Oh, yeah. oh you know, here's right. a funny story. Back in uh, 1995 yeah. or six. Peter wanted to do some shows with Hellfire Club, and I made the mistake because I was very young in the journalism and publishing. Then I gave him Thomas Thorne's phone number. 
I got a fucking voicemail. Why the fuck do you get my fucking phone? <laughs> I, was like, yeah. oh, fuck. yeah. I thought that we were all inclusive mm. as uh, industrial music family, but apparently not. And I get it now, as I don't want people having my phone number. So, but yeah. yeah, that was like, so that was me and Peter in, in Hellfire Club. And that, I, I, yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> it was a good fit for you, man. <laughs> I love Electric Hellfire Club. I <laughs> yeah. fucking love them. I remember those shows. So we're going to um, play this new song and video. Um, Peter, do you want to set this up? Say it again. You want to set up your, we're going to play your song and your video. Do you want to set it well, up? Well, this is the new reincarnation of my uh, very first project from Pittsburgh. And the song is a uh, remake of 1990 seven song called Parasite and now we uh, renamed it Virus very appropriately I guess <laughs> and, uh, and here we go <laughs> alright you're listening to the MK Ultra Sound podcast <laughs> I'm 
and that's the new mace uh rejuvenated mace on the mk ultrasound podcast peter you still there i am here hey, man yeah. uh, thank you still so in much Pittsburgh. Yes, <laughs> thanks uh thanks for sharing that with us um, dude, uh, you're quite welcome my song. friend uh, dude um, thank you Amazing. i was like so giddy when he said he's gonna do a new mace song because th- they were in the first issue of mk ultra holy shit yeah with martin atkins uh, they Whoa. were on the cover the first issue nice. so that's i remember that yeah <laughs> so that's awesome that would, and the magazine uh progressed as did mace so we started out as a 28 page black and white newsprint cut and paste thing to full color with centerfolds and worldwide distribution i guess that was before photoshop right <laughs> god dude <laughs> we, yeah. i didn't i was going to kinko's and xeroxing shit <laughs> man i wish though that we still had like printed stuff you know i miss right. did you um yeah me too i got i, I went yeah. to buy a magazine a couple weeks ago at barnes and noble and they're like 15 dollars now I like, wow. but mk ultra would probably be like Ten, twelve dollars now. Yeah, with the um, probably things. because of the paper. I want to do um. Bring the now gym. listen, Alex. In Poland, it would be thirty-six lotus. Yeah, that's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> we have a converter on the side. <laughs> see, I, I can't wait for you to see this video because she's fucking glowing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's this really, but hey, yeah, yeah, we're hey, doing you know, Jameson. You know. um, hey, so I want to throw this up. Did you read the article that Mark Williams and um. Angela Dank wrote about industrial music. Oh yeah, did you like it? You were in that. You I was in it. Story. I was actually interviewed for it. So that was a uh, that's a good piece. Uh, the way the state yeah. of things are now, but I think that it's much more exciting. You're going on tour with Stabbing Westward. Well, I'm going to do a couple dates with them, yeah. but I'm very excited because those are the places I've never been at before, as Ayatoya is, and as myself. So super stoked, double stoked for first time appearance in Canada, <laughs> and then Portland. Which I was told that once I go to Portland, I will want to move. Yeah, it's beautiful there. there. I've never been. I lived there. Yeah, I she does there. right. I was, there, yeah. I was in a band there too, and I was on. You know, Event, I don't. I don't know what what uh, what uh, venues you'll play there. I'm um, going to play it? an Aladdin theater. Aladdin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I played Star Theater and Paris Theater. Okay. And all of that kind of stuff. It's That's great. Cool. Yeah. Yvette Lyra, did you see this? She was on the cover of MK. That's just her. <laughs> this is on MK Ultra back in like two thousand one. So cool. <laughs> Look this at is amazing. Flashback MK Ultra. Yeah. <laughs> And that's Great. also Sabrina yeah. Satana from Electric Hell Fire Club. That was a you see. That's what I mean mm. about printed magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Take it in your hands. Yeah. Da da. And right. suddenly all the memories come right back right. at you. There you go. When the I first of paper. the first time I met Yvette was at the industry night at this place called Fuel. You would have loved it, but it was a different scene back then. Like on Sunday oh, nights, yeah. if you were in the music industry, you went to Fuel. What is that? I have no idea. <laughs> that's it. So Peter, are, what are, are you, you doing? On, are you on that one? Are you on four or three? Talk. <clears throat> Okay, uh, this guy took okay. four. Okay. okay. Um, so, oh, it's the headphones. So my I'm headphones like really are. loud. Okay. So maybe in my head. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I, when I met Yvette, Scree, she Scree. told me she was in the movie Blood Dolls, played Razor Baby. Ooh. Funny story was the girl they originally cast for as Razor Baby was a girl from a band I managed in Indianapolis, a, a band called Suture, industrial band. Her name was Heather Sexual. Her boyfriend was too jealous to let her do it, and then Yvette got the role. What the heck? Look at this. And then it's one of the last the one of the last times we hung out, we were with the director. We were yeah. at that horror movie convention. Mm-hmm. I'm old friends with Charles Ben yeah. for Full Moon Movies, mm-hmm. and she was there, and it was fucking fantastic to see them like both. Fangoria, like the whole bit. She was in. Um, you were in Armageddon. Yeah. Also, mm-hmm. and she was in the movie Armageddon. What? Yes. Dude. She played. A, she played a stripper. <laughs> Steve Buscemi's girl. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> crazy and then i was a and then i was a dominatrix in uh, rampart too oh that, yeah yeah with woody harrelson and ben foster was like directing at the time yeah so and you've done music oh. videos you were jacob dylan's video yeah i was in oh gosh this is so long ago so i was in uh lenny kravitz fly away yeah. video Dude. Yeah. i was in uh flat cool Sitta with uh harvey danger um uh, the wallflowers uh jacob dylan's yeah. uh video in that um Gosh, uh, you got the hooch. Like all these weird 90s. But her own music is, we've played her music on the show before. Um, She's like total David Lynch girl. Look at her. Oh, but I love David Lynch. Yeah, Yeah, so she did a a song called Black Lodge. And Mm -hmm. finally did the video years after you did the song. Because I I still have the the CD burn of the original version of Black Lodge. We played that on the show like a month ago. That um, she's back in Chicago from LA. I'm happy Mm -hmm. to have her on the side of the show. Mm -hmm. I think she's perfect. So we're going to talk about... um, your new video, your new song, your new remix, Tim Scold. Yes. 
I, I love exciting. Scott. I love Tim Scott. He's That's amazing. So, amazing. so how does this happen and, and what's it all about? So uh, I was an opener at this gig at the Dirty Nellies in Palatine and it was Tim Scott's show. And we met at that ni- that night and uh, I spoke with both with Tim and his wife. They are absolutely amazing. They are like sweethearts. So anything you see as an image and then, you know, you see those people behind the imi- that image and it's just mind-blowing how amazing those guys are. They are like hug people, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> very, very, very like awesome us. people. <laughs> like <laughs> us, I yeah. swear. And so, you know, that, of course, you know, connects with me because mm-hmm. I am a hug person. <laughs> Which sucks at the times of coronavirus because I can't <laughs> hug anybody and it kills me. Social distancing. It kills me more than coronavirus, actually. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, back to positive stuff. <laughs> but uh, Sko, Tim, um, I love everything he's done, even with his old metal band, that's Shaka Messiah. Yes. When he was Tim Tim. Yes. But when he got, he, he, I saw him with Ogre. I saw him with uh, Manson, of course. I've seen, I've seen by himself. I used to have the Tim Sko nail polish, the blue nail polish. Uh-huh. And we used to mm-hmm. give giveaways of that and i talked to him i met him in los angeles at the key club for the cleopatra 10-year anniversary party well, when know, i met kim Feli. Well, you know too like when i was on i sang with tammy down from newly Dead. Yes, right yeah i'm on an album with tim school so also, but he so is like the I nicest yeah. he's the nicest guy yeah. there's no fucking ego no he's yeah. super fucking cool yes. and he i everything he does with came fdm is better with scold exactly isn't it like the my best? favorite came after Yamam is the symbols record with Megalomaniac on it, and he was on that record, and Ogre was on that tour. Mm-hmm. I was just like, yeah. So f- Again, then I saw him with family. so. So how did this happen? And um, we're gonna get right into the video in a minute. So yeah, let's so yeah, this. so like That's I mean, amazing. we emailed you know back and forth, and uh, you know I asked him if he would do the remix, and he's like, yeah, let's do it, and he did it. Like he sent me back the version, I was <laughs> mind blown. Wow, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck. Mm. This like is coldness in mm. my song, and mm-hmm. you can feel it. Yeah, you know because he didn't uh, change the main uh, song, you know, uh, structure. Yeah, but he added the coldness to the song, mm. and it's so. Did you say coldness? Coldness. <laughs> yeah, it's very Touch. prominent. It's so <laughs> prominent. It's like scold, scoldish. Mm. <laughs> okay, hey, hey Peter, you're still there. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna let you go, brother. Well, um, thanks so much. No. We'll, we'll, no. Do you want to? Do you want to listen to us? Back. Do you want to? Do you want to hang on? Do you want to stay on for the show? No, I actually got around. All right. Hey, hey, thanks so much, man. I love you. We'll, we'll talk to you yeah, soon. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Right. I love you guys too. Thank you. Started. Do you want me to take to make you satisfied? What do you want from me? What do I need to sacrifice? Oh yeah I don't wanna be in this motion Shadow clone Are you ready for a change? 
you know, one thing I love about industrial music is you don't do the under four minute rule. <laughs> a song could be 10 minutes and it's fucking good. Like the doors. That's why I love the doors. Their songs are epic, like 10, 12, 14 minutes long. Yeah. Industrial music doesn't play by the three minute radio rule. No. And, and it's great music to, uh, to mix as a DJ, but this is great. And your visuals are. What a track. Yeah. I mean, yeah. come kudos. on. This big, is amazing. Big kudos to Joel Lopez of mm. uh, Lumbra Productions oh, for wow. my visuals, for every work, video work that I have out there. It is a collaboration with my video partner, official video partner, Lumbra Productions. Love you, Joel. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see her video with the? What's the one with the girl dancing on the pole that we played on the last show? Oh, this is Puppet. Oh, yeah. This is yeah, a Puppet. Puppet. Love puppet. That. that was that a great one. I love yes. that. Yeah. yeah. That was a good so one. So good. And, Thank uh, you. So what's going on? Um, so you did some pig face shows. Oh yeah. Yeah, since the last oh, time yeah. you were here, yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. You did some pig face shows. So yes. How was that? Talk, talk to to us about that experience. Well, we went on tour, and I was an opener for Pig Face Tour, which was uh, huge and very exciting and very awesome. And uh, I got to you know be on stage with Pig Face here and there as well which was double awesome because they are amazing bunch of a very creative and talented pe individuals. And w what can I say? You know, I mean, it's big face. So it's not show. It's mm. wild. It's crazy. Everything was crazy. And even me as an opener, which, you know, is like a separate thing. It mm. still was not crazy. Mm. The audience, the best, the best. Everyone who was at big face show, I love you guys. And I want to say it because you are the most connecting, loving crowd, the most supportive. And, uh, you know, just like you come out. So check you us out. out. Brian Stoneman's doing the filming because Cassie can't be with us right now. Can you grab that bag of coffee on the, by the coffee maker? Uh, bring it in here. See that? Um, throw it to her. You're going to see this thing. Um, yeah. This is, uh, Thick face. This is the get the fuck out of bed coffee by oh, Martin yeah, Atkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. So... And you know that all the years that I worked with Invisible, when we go down there, it was always like plow me with coffee. They're always drinking coffee down there at uh, Invisible. Oh, yeah. At every office. So. I mean, you have to <laughs> <laughs> when you are in the industrial scene. Well, I don't know. I mean, I can't <laughs> figure out how they do that because Curse Mac, that back bedroom is pretty much Curse Mackey's room uh, in Rona's bedroom. And I don't know how they rehearse and somehow do this thing night after night. A, a great seems like it's fine tuned, but a lot of people haven't been to rehearsals. They come in and they're able to perform this show so well. That's true. But you know, I mean, it's a very hardworking band. So oh, yeah. I must say, you know, from everything that I've seen so many rehearsals and like very solid ones and they were not some rehearsals, you know, as you see with other bands, you come in and, you know, you sort of chill and you play here a little and then you stop and you don't play anymore. Those guys really do it like eight hours straight. They were practice. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. at, at, at Knox. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At Fort Knox. And, and it just blows me. And, and when Randy Blythe came on for the whole yeah. tour, I mm -hmm. couldn't believe it. With a vocal. Yeah. Cause his Great band voice. is his Lamb of God is huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're the biggest metal band right now. Art Cruz, who's a drum in prong is drumming for them now. And I just can't believe how big that fucking band is for metal. And they're from like the Carolinas. <laughs> or Virginia right. or something. They're from the East Coast. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking it's like Slipknot being from uh, Iowa. Yeah. Who would have thought? I know. You, well you never know. You never know where the true talent comes from, you know, when it gets born. We're gonna uh, play Glass Eyes next. Um do you wanna talk about that song a minute? Are you gonna play original or the remix? What you send me, the remix. I think it was of course the remix because <laughs> I'll tell you right now because my uh, <laughs> below, <laughs> beloved Joy Tiffs remixed this one. Oh yeah, so it's yes. a family and I had to do the remix. What do you think? I think she's gonna be one a Joy Thief soon. I you're, think you're total, you're total <laughs> she has the vibe of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you I told don't. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Joy Thieves. I told I her like, get ready to meet your new family. That's <laughs> it. But that's how it works, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And that's kind of, I just want to say, kind of the whole reason I moved to Chicago was because of bands like uh, Pig Face and Revolting Cox were like mm -hmm. bands when they weren't doing like ministry or whatever, they would mm -hmm. do their group effort thing. And that brought me to Chicago 25 years ago. Well, and you know, too, remember my affiliation when I was in Lick on Invisible oh, yeah, with right. Martin. So, I mean, it's like, you know, it's all goes full circle. Hey, that's she crazy. she had the best band name of any band, though. She had a band called Contagious. Yeah. yeah. Contagious. Spelled C-U-N-T. So, <laughs> Cunt. That's yeah, crazy. Exactly. I basically, when that was in L.A., and I had a chick band, and I wanted to base that on uh, the Wendy O. Williams, you know, Reform School Girl. 
like you know that whole thing so contagious because it was like because <laughs> there was a scene in Reform School Girl. I don't know if you ever saw it. Like oh, Wendy Williams is badass, and she's like on this bus, and she's like fuck, you know. So anyway, like there was a scene, and like all the girls are like all put in the you know in the cafeteria, and it says kindness is contagious. And I said, you know what? That's exactly cunt. Ages, you know, and so that's it. And I just started, and I had wrote songs like that, like based on like you know, Reform School Girl, Pussy Boy, um, <laughs> so old Contagious, old. Bubba's Got a Girlfriend, Motor City Cunt Fucker, you know, just like you know, <laughs> cunt on me, yeah, you know, <laughs> Felch Rag, you know, Felch was based on like Gigi Allen shit, you know, so it was just like you know eat my fuck. I mean, so, it, it, you know, everything was just like, you know, it's so random. And I just, you know, I got together with my girlfriends and I said, Hey, let's just fuck off. Let's just do a band. I'm just going to make shit up as we go. Like I'm going to get on stage and like, so whatever, cool. you know, so and it was cool. kind of one of those things, you know, like a, like a pussy riot type thing, you know, cause it was just like yeah. a bunch of chicks, Broads, a bunch yeah. of like, you know, having in fun. Your fa- you know, yeah, in your, totally. yeah, totally in your face type stuff, you know? Um, it wasn't really like, um, it was just basically garage and like, you know, live pretty much, you know, it wasn't really anything that was like studio or anything, but it was just like fun. I mean, and that's the thing about music, you know, it's just like, you just got to go with your soul, have fun, you know, create the art, you know, get it out there and stuff like that. The most important. I mean, you know, fuck it. Like, and, and your stuff too. And like I said, it's just like amazing. Like, it's just like, it's just (laughs) progressing. And, and, and I think that's the thing too, right now, I think more than anything, we need more like really positive like talented like industrial female artists you know what i mean especially right now you know what i mean so i think that you're like a forerunner like right now like that's you're hot so it's like you know uh, right now that's that's really important because it's like you know we're just we're trying to like you know start the mainstream and and do things a little different right alex you know always i mean as you know i'm sitting here like loving this because I, i i miss when you could be politically incorrect, and especially as a woman. You couldn't do your band right now, really, without being oh under, god. like, the girls on The View bitching. Oh, my God. About, I oh, mean, how dare you. But isn't it that yeah. That like, we always yeah. under this radar, yeah. you know, uh, as female. Well, it, Females in general, you know. Yeah. And we have to, like, fit but right into now, those particular it's like, frames. There's, there's empowerment, and then there's being sexy about it, and you're not allowed to be sexy and empowered at the same time because it's when you judged. were contagious was the best name for a fucking girl band I've ever heard. I would fuck it. I would continue doing that. Pussy Dumb. boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, this is the other thing, too. Like, in L.A., like, I was out, you know, at the clubs. This is just before I, like, moved back. And we, I actually got into an, a disagreement with a dude because I was like, I'm a gypsy, you know what I mean, because I'm traveling so much mm-hmm. and on the road. And he goes, that's not a really kosher word now like gypsy <laughs> is like not allowed right and i'm like are you fucking kidding me why and they're yeah. like oh because the gypsies think it's a bad thing and it's a bad term and i'm like okay most of us are artists are gypsies we're traveling we're yeah. travelers we're like we Soul move searchers. around exactly right yeah. so i'm like i'm proud to say i'm a gypsy stevie nicks is proud to say she's a gypsy okay so it's like when we get to the point where sjw and like political thing where you can't call yourself a gypsy because oh my god that's 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 wrong that's wrong like you know what i mean and this guy was like you can't say that and i can say well, that's, that the, that's the that's the point like, of this fucking show yeah, is exactly. like politically incorrect it's yeah. like yeah. i exactly. i am not going to abide by right. fucking mainstream. No, I'm sorry. We're going to hurt feelings. Yeah. We're going to say offensive things. We're going to speak the fucking but truth. This is but needed. But guess this what? This is very needed. Yeah. That's what changes yeah. the world. That's, That's what, what opens us. Are- but you know yeah. what? You know how many shows easy. You know how many shows aren't doing what we do? Everybody's so afraid. I'm not. Perfect. Guess what? If you don't like it, turn it the fuck off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay? So, so we can sit here fucking naked. Who cares? Right? So we're going to play your song back to the Joy Thieves remix. All who right. Did the, who did this Let's one? This Was one. it Dan or Matthew? or Dan. Dan and uh, James Scott okay. worked on this one. I love those guys. Uh, Populist Records recording uh, studio and Dan Milligan, uh, James Scott and the rest of the Joy Thieves. We're going to be right back after this song. <laughs>
choose the game, we roll, the dice isn't play. If I'm not here, this is the pass. Glass eyes, glass eyes. Hey, look at this. This is the the greatest Alexandwich ever. (laughs) (laughs) Alexandwich. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. That's a little sexist. No, I'm not offended at all. Me too. I think it's amazing. I think too. You say me too? (laughs) Me too. Hashtag (laughs) me too. (laughs) How about that fucking bullshit with um, Corey uh, Feldman this week? Trying to say Charlie Sheen molested, fucked... um, Corey Haim between two trailers and put Crisco on his butt. Did you see that? Ooh, I Did didn't. But it sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> two trailers, kinky fucking shit. <laughs> wow. I don't you know, know anything about it. I have to. I have to. Here we are. Right, we're exposing. Right. Mm-hmm. I smoke char. I smoke pot with Charlie Sheen. I did something worse. Ooh. Between two trailers? Confessions. <laughs> Charlie okay. Sheen and I have a couple of people in common. <laughs> Freaking. Oh, okay. I'm safe, by the way. All right. Cool. Um, so you you weren't here then. I wish you were. No. You don't didn't know me, but there's somebody 
in this circle that like twice, not just once, two women. Oh, actually, three when you really think about Ginger Lynn um, in, in my life, in Charlie Sheen's life, and it's just very fucking fucked up. <laughs> well, I'm in good company. I mean. That's crazy. <laughs> like, okay, I mean, I, all the secrets are, all the dirty So you only smoke pot? Me. You didn't do crack or anything with oh, him? No. God damn it. God, like, no. That's boring. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm lucky. Where were you? Smoking in a hotel room or? No, we were in uh, some rock star house in the Hollywood Hills with uh, the actor, that guy, Zach, from uh, the Gremlins movie. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it was like, you know, one of my stories. I Again, one of these days, I got to write a book. Yeah, absolutely. Do it. Yeah, Called really. Black Lodge. <laughs> Female voice is very needed to be but heard. You know what? We've been friends for so long, a like long 20 time. years. Yeah. I still have her first handwritten cd burn of the song black lodge and yeah. she with her handwriting wrote on the disc <laughs> the time, and i still have that wow <laughs> yes wow i've always nice loved i've always, loved, I've always loved this woman like, we, like we saw the donnas together yeah we did <laughs> and yeah, she we, did. we had vip at the metro and she's like that little girl's go. ripping it up on I'm guitar like, oh my god this is awesome <laughs> Like, you know, I'm like, I love it was fucking game. hot as fuck that day yeah, too. It was. It was you just got your back, awesome. your bat tattoo. Yes, nice. Yeah, yeah. so I'm like sweating all the time. Oh, it was fucking like, hot. Oh, yeah. And then we we got up there, and then the Donnas came on. It was right mm -hmm. with the biggest they were ever were. Yeah, and they were fucking good. They laid yeah, it down. It man. was good. Yeah, it you was. Know. It was good for female empowerment for that. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was happened. saying too. Like we've got the we got some forerunners right Fuck here right yeah. now. Are you kidding me? Chicago in the fucking house. Ayatollah. Let's look. Cheers to Ayatollah. Yeah. One woman. Yeah, say one say woman what the translation means. Oh yeah, yeah. In, in Polish. Ayatollah, when spoken yeah. spoken out loud, means it's just me. So it's actually Ayatoya. Ayatollah. But I like how you say Ayatollah because Ayatollah, Ayatollah? Ayatollah is an Iranian terrorist and don't yes. oh, wow. don't think That's for a second thing. that I will not terrorize you <laughs> <laughs> as Ayatollah, one woman army. I fucking will mm. if I have to. You know, That's I'm right. so excited now that we're coming into the good weather with all this fucking coronavirus yeah. insanity going on. <laughs> I, I Hold on, ladies. <laughs> I You haven't got to enjoy this yet, but I throw rock, and roll. I throw rock and roll barbecues. <laughs> I throw rock and roll Corona. barbecues okay. with musicians and people coming here mm. and That's eating awesome. and jamming and playing from sunlight to sundown. My and people are still rocking at fucking 10 o'clock at night. So when and to where? I'm Very not soon. I'm going to actually... Yeah, let's do it. We're doing... Uh, I'm going to do my first mm -hmm. one Memorial Day weekend. I'm going to break my acoustic for this yeah. one. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. I have yes. six fucking guitars myself, so... Okay. Yes. That's, okay. All my stuff's in a crate. Let's do this. Every great day starts with a cup of get the fuck out of bed coffee from Martin Atkins and Dark Matter Coffee. Go to darkmattercoffee.com. Look for the big red logo that says get the fuck out of bed. America runs on damage and it all starts with a cup of get the fuck out of bed coffee. There are 10 commandments and there are seven deadly sins, but there is only one MK Ultra magazine. Visit us daily online at www.mkultramagazine.com for entertainment news, reviews, and interviews. MKUltramagazine.com, home of Alexander's Diary of a Damn Man. That's MKUltramagazine.com. You know, I want to throw props again to Angela Dank and Mark Williams for doing an industrial piece because we, because of now that MK Ultra is online only, there's not a whole lot of original content and they spent two months doing that piece. It was a very intense piece. Yeah. yeah you can tell that it's it's done with love. Yeah. Total. I mean, they, Mark Williams is like, when I met, you know, say Mark, my executive producer, we met at a gay bar. Yeah, awesome. we met at a gay wow. bar. That's nice. I was DJing at Spin, which was this oh. gay club on, in um, Boys Town. My first I job here, Spin. and um, I did Gothic Industrial Night on Thursdays. I did a Skinny Puppy release party, mm -hmm. and he did oh, a remix nice. for Skinny Puppy. And he comes up the ladder, and, and I'm wearing foxy. I'm wearing leather pants. Yeah, it used to be foxy. I'm wearing leather pants. Of course, I look totally fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, best friends ever since. That's like, awesome. Just. Just awesome. so he did his piece out of love, and you know, I didn't, it wasn't something I asked him to do. I had no input at all on this. This was totally Angela and Mark. And I just want to say, you did a fucking great job. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Yeah. It was, uh, didn't have to do it. They just did it because they wanted to do it. And so, I, that's important. So, you know, talking about female empowerment and awesome, amazing artists that's coming out right now and, and these new releases and everything with what's going on in the world, you know, right now. Um, I, you know, it's just, 
I'm just trying to figure out like, you know, what's the next step now? You know, it's like every day it's like everything's changing on a dime, you know, and it's like, you know, with tourings, you know, tours yes. being scheduled. Oh, yeah. and, or, or, you know, no Lords no, of no, Acid. No, no, you know, Lords of Acid tour got canceled. And, everything. You know, everything. And the free no, thief, no, no, yeah. no, no flights to Europe, you know, type of thing. It's like, where do we go from here? Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, this whole start of like, you know, and that's why I think that's a, this is a brilliant show, like, you know, what we're doing right here, right Thank now, you. you know, with Alex, you know, because it's like, this is like what we're doing. You know, it's we're unity. Bring, we're, yeah, we're yeah. bringing it into people's homes right now because yeah. it's like people are at home and, you know, and I feel like, you know, just taking, you know, as artists, you know, it's our job to like, you know, we have to entertain people and especially now because, you know, everyone's going through it, you know, people losing their jobs. It's a very stressful time right now. Well, as and, entertainers, I feel like and, that we have to give you yeah. something. Okay. If you're going to stay home, let's give you something to stay home. Exactly. For. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it, it's like, fuck, you know, it sucks. <laughs> and I love know, it out there. And it's Trust like, me. you know, we, Trust got, we me. gotta, we gotta like make more songs. We gotta make more music. We gotta like go live, you know? And it's just like, so it's, it's just like here and now it's just like with the times, like, gosh, I mean, like I said, it, I never thought like in a week, like oh. the world would be ending yeah. and yeah. like coming to, coming to this. You know, point, and she you just know. moved back from California. I know. Yeah. I've heard the story. It's <laughs> I mean, it's like. Want a killer look without breaking your wallet? Try Killer Beards. All beard products are made with natural ingredients to stop beard dandruff and itching before it starts while giving you a smooth, silky beard that smells amazing. Choose from five amazing scents that will have everyone saying, wow, that's a killer beard and it sure does smell good. Also available are shampoo and bars of rough cut soap. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash killer beards. That's Killer Beards. You know, I have to work from home Use this week. Discount code MK Ultra twenty for twenty percent off. That's MK Ultra twenty. I just broke my own rule. Sponsorship <laughs> way to no, break I, the I have fucking. To, I have to work from home this week, and I hate it because I actually do like the people I work with a yeah. lot. I love my bosses, but I don't. The one nice thing is the train ride is so fucking nice without fuckers on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, you know, going through the uh, freeway. Is amazing because there is no traffic anymore. Right. I love it because I live. Well, Brian came from Pilsen in an Uber. He was here so fast. I couldn't believe it because he's always on Stoneman time. I call it. He's always late. He's like a <laughs> a bad girlfriend. <laughs> I've traveled with this guy so many years, so many places. But he's always. You say eleven. Okay, it's going to be twelve thirty before he shows up. <laughs> anyway. So he was here so fast. I I couldn't believe it. Like, wow. And then um, I got some Corona beers. That's it for you girls and for well, uh, yeah. And so yeah, that's and that's but what yeah. I'm saying too. It's like you know, we've got to like rethink now. It's like as artists, as you know, at the, it's it, it's just like it's for me too. It's like I've been in lockdown. I haven't had an internet or TV, and mm -hmm. just, I, I just have my phone and like social media and stuff like that. So I appreciate like you know what little things that I can get. I mean, it's like it's so weird. It's kind of like you know. Back in the days, you know, like when we didn't even have technology and we didn't oh, have yeah. anything and like, you know, I, you know, I've had friends that like grew up in um, Iran, Tehran, you know, when the bombs were going off yeah. and like, you know, they had to hide in shelters, you know, sort of like Diary Van Frank type things, you know what I mean? And it's like, we're kind of going back to that. We're scaling back, but at least we have the resources and the technology, you know, and it's like, how do we take that? Like, I, I don't know. Am I like out of line here? No, like, not at all. Like, no. That's a concern. Like, That's a fault. But I like you yeah. talking about before. To, I mean, can you imagine if we didn't have the technology we have right now, how fucked we'd be? Because oh you, right. there was like 20 years ago, you couldn't work from home. Right. There was no ability to do. We this wouldn't thing. know what's going on. That's right. it. Yeah. You know, we you wouldn't would, have yeah. the information and the speed of it that the way we do. And then the fucking we would be just like mm -hmm. with those flu breaks. You know, like hundred years ago and more than that, where people just were not aware. And my brother, I was talking shit. to my brother, and he was telling me. He said, "Oh fuck, that's head <laughs> uh, motherfuckers." Um, my brother uh, Blue, he said to me, he said, "You know, we're due for this." We haven't had anything like this as the Spanish influenza, which started in Kansas on an army base of all places, yeah. wow. the Spanish flu. And um, I like how they always have to give it a foreign name. Did you like how like Trump said a foreign virus? Yeah, he, fuck you, man. He's just like, Everything is foreign to this man, you know? <laughs> God, I feel bad for his wife. His I wife's from Russia. <laughs> That's foreign. You know, I, I got it. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. My taste in women. Let them get it's like, uh, 
Russian and yeah. Asian. I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> oh God. So um, let's talk about what you're going to do next. Because next yeah. week you're going to be back with Joy Thieves, your band. Yes, with, I'm going to uh, be. back And then here. you're going to meet your new family. Yes. This oh, band. Yeah. This awesome. is going to be fantastic. So we're going to play Blue Girl. I love that video. It's amazing, oh, awesome. Matt. Matthew, Matthew Clark. Clark is holy shit. He really delivered, but the whole video is just so vibey. So did you powerful. know that nice. he and I go back? Like he and I and Dan go back to the eight to ni- to the nineties. When I first came here, I saw them perform as Mary's Window at the House of Blues at a showcase, and I and then I had a radio show, had him on my show out in Elgin, and to this day we're all still. I I, I love Matthew Clark. Yeah. He's good. He's a fucking punk rocker, motherfucker. He's a punk rocker. Totally. But he's like really good on the board, on the mixing board. Mm-hmm. He's so good at what he does. And I love Mary's Window. I'm looking forward to that coming back because yeah. I love that. I mean, I really did support that fucking band big time in the old days. In the old days. That's 20 awesome. fucking years That's ago. That's crazy, but I want to see that. I want to see this band. Now, when I hear all those stories, you know, I'm very excited to, to see what it's all about, like in reality. So hopefully, you guys, we count on you now. You're listening to the MK Ultrasound Podcast. Please feel free to contact us at podcast at mkultramagazine.com. I wish we had more music. I love your fucking shit. Did you bring <laughs> CDs for me to buy? Oh, yeah, I do. I have your, I have the CDs. I have to go get cash, so. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, I, I, I want to buy these. So you have two or three for me. Yeah, I have two. I have two CDs. And now, okay. since I would talk Let's about Let's show the uh, people yeah. out there what, what your product is. And this is so oh awesome. my God, look. Then you, oh, you know, wow. Look you at already, the you know. stickers. The sticker wow. is, oh, fuck. <laughs> listen to this, oh this is God. a gift. The sticker is a gift. Oh, thank you. And it's a hologram sticker. That's awesome. And it That's comes cool. with every pre-order. You guys have five more days because the album drops Friday. Oh, yeah, 20. No more stickers. Mm-hmm. So wow. <laughs> I get one. Wow. Fuck it. Pre-orders oh, come with God, them. It's fucking new. Awesome. <laughs> it's fucking new with oh, goggles. Wow, I love it. So I guess That's I don't amazing. have to watch porn for a amazing. while. <laughs> this is the CD and this is the card that comes with it with download of extra 10 wow. tracks, which are fucking mind-blowingly amazing tracks. All remix. And this is original, you Remix. know. That's the baby that came from my. <clears throat> Can I see this one? Whatever. <laughs> this is fucking badass, right? I'm like, nice. when you said Tim Scold, I just lit up wow. my. I because I, I really think the world of him. It, everything he wow. does with an artist is better. What's this? When he's car- this is a card. Look at this. This is download. Yeah, this is download <laughs> for of those other tracks on the other side. A cold Jesus. blue revelation. <laughs> stickers CDs. it's like a memorabilia like, wow. too you know yeah. i do oh. those and i will continue doing those cards so hopefully no i save everything i still I, I go to show peter i still have mace shit from 1993 so i amazing. still i save everything it's like That's it's fucking awesome. one day when you come i will like sit down and bring out my because i'm putting together a coffee table book of memorabilia you're gonna see like i got into my shit oh, that i haven't nice. seen in 20 years i'm like wow i've got letters from rock stars writing to me before email they wow, you had a physical letter. No, like a member of KISS sent me a fucking wow. letter when I was in college. Wow. Dude, I think it's still it's so amazing. It's like very important to have this personal touch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like if you can, if you have a chance, if you have someone's address, mm-hmm. writing the personal note is the shit. Well look, I still like, like fucking CDs. I don't like fucking downloads. I, this is I still have this. No, oh, sorry, then okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kidding. no, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's it. Oh, man, we got almost an hour in here, and I can't believe we played three songs, and we're here. Yvette Lira, um, I, I I love you, and I just love that you're back here. And uh, I I was sad when you went to Portland from L.A. because, and, and then she went back to L.A. and then uh, now you're well, here. Well, I was in Vegas too. You know, it's like. Well, here's a funny thing. So we've talked on the show that I'm friend. I was friends with Kim Fowley. You see his records behind me. Yeah. And uh, Kim Fowley, the guy who invented the Runaways who wrote many, many hit songs, was obsessed with her. He saw her in the magazine. He found her phone number and would call her oh, at like four in the morning. All the time. And That's just why no disturbed hours. function so is the best function so, in the phone. <laughs> and this is before like Facebook. This is before oh, Facebook. Yeah. yeah I think it. we only just had MySpace back yeah. then and it wasn't that big of a deal. But yeah. Kim would call her and like the other girls. But he, So then they finally got to meet and she sent me a picture. <laughs> I was like, so what'd you think? <laughs> Kim Fowley... He was such a fucking perv. It's such a fucking perv. <laughs> I loved this guy. And people were free. He would not fit well in this society right now. No. Would he? no. <laughs> he was no, inappropriate yeah, with yeah. everything. But yeah, he invented yeah. the runways. He wrote Cherry yeah. Bomb. Yeah. There would be no yeah. Joan Jett without yeah. Kim Lita Fowley. Ford. Right. Joan None of that. Jett. No. So I like that. how this is like, 
and then there's McKinfelly Valley Records right here. It's like, I love that. Fuck, and I miss his phone. He would call me like three in the morning just talk because he didn't mm -hmm. drink. He didn't fucking yeah. get high. Yeah. He had polio. Yeah. He would just talk to me about perverted shit. On his mm -hmm. deathbed, as he was dying, he was telling me, you know, Alex, one thing I noticed is women have a thing for feet, for old men's feet. I'm like, what? of course, in your illness, you would find something <laughs> freaky to say. <laughs> you, you fucking pervert. <laughs> Well, but you know, uh, well, you know, he went out with a. Oh, he was on the cover of Girls, yeah, Girls, Girls and Corpses. corpses. <laughs> he did. A did shoot. you know that? No, no. no, they made a they made a fake body of his. That was not him. His body. It was a fake. Really? Yeah, and so they had the girls laying on him like in a coffin. It was like no, that wasn't really his body. Oh, because he said he wanted. No, to of go course out. he said he it. Said but he I want to go out. He wanted shit. to go out. Like, I know. I know. The bang. Here's like, the thing: is I know the truth, and I've just told the truth, and probably I should let okay. him live that down. Oh. But yes, people okay. are always going to see like, yeah, he had girls lay on his dead body i mean it's his wish so it's sort of like his spirit that guy is still was there, such you know? a fucking freak man <laughs> <laughs> God, i loved did you know snow mercy his ex-girlfriend oh, yeah. she's a dom yeah so snow mercy his ex-girlfriend used to stay here and kim would say that's your sister so we were like brother and sister kind of thing incestuous thing <laughs> oh shit <laughs> um Fally is like I, I miss people like him and plus he would be so inappropriate right now there's he would oh, like yeah, the whole me too and everything and like even after he died, that one girl, the nobody from the runaway said he raped her. And, and i tell you one thing, Joan Jett and Cherie Curry would definitely tell you if he did that. And they said it never happened. So they ju this woman I'm jumped on Cherie, after he died. And i tell you one thing about Kim Valley, nobody did anything that they didn't want to do with him. Because, uh, I mean, really, <laughs> it's a different world. It's, it's uh, a totally different it's world. It's so hard. It's like I always say when I'm not somewhere... And, you know, witnessing the situation, I can't speak about it. But on this show... Simple. We can say I just don't know. How can this, I fucking know? <laughs> on this fucking show, say anything you want, talk about anything, because I don't want fucking censorship. That's it. Yeah. No, thanks, hey. Uh, that's a good show. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you in a week. Awesome. You're going to be back next yeah, week? Yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks week. for listening. And All thanks right. to uh, Mark Williams and Angela Dank for doing that fucking bang up fucking industrial story for and, Culture and Magazine. And you know what? And sponsored <laughs> by Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> From the north end of the Mississippi River in Chicago, Illinois, to the south end in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you've been listening to the MK Ultrasound Podcast with your host, Alexander with our special videographer, Cassandra Belazic, and I'm your executive producer, Too Dark. Tune in for the next episode to see exactly what's going to happen next. You've been listening to the MK Ultrasound Podcast.